Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort. We have a reservation for Disneyland like we do every Monday. Maybe I'll switch it up like in the upcoming weeks, but for now, every Monday we're gonna be at Disneyland. <laughs> Just as a heads up. But anyways, uh, there's already like a little bit of an update at the entrance of Disneyland. They put some of the snow already, or some of the Christmas decorations at the turnstiles. I'm gonna show you guys. I didn't want to get too close because the lines are kind of long right there, but look, decorations. All right guys, and like five minutes later, we just got inside the park and it's pretty cool. I just noticed that they put up the wreath on all the light poles right here at the entrance. So if you look very carefully at all the light poles, there's wreaths on every single one of them. Whoops, can't find your light pole. There you go, <laughs> there's more over there. So I'm not really sure how well it's being picked up on camera, but it's lightly sprinkling right now. Um, it's supposed to rain today later, I'm not too sure when. Originally I said at like 10, 11, and now it's being pushed to like 2 and 4 p.m. So I'm not really sure when it's gonna start raining, but for now we're kind of safe. I did bring my umbrella just in case because I don't want to get my camera wet and I don't want to get wet either. So uh, uh, right now we're waiting for rope drop to happen so we can go check out the stores. Also, look, the Christmas tree is here. Where, where is it? Where is it? Where's the Christmas tree? It's right. It's right there. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's kind of hard to look backwards and through a screen. <laughs> but look, the Christmas tree is here. It's beautiful. And about 15 minutes later, there goes rope drop. All right guys, so we just got inside the Emporium and they have a pretty good amount of new merch. I'm gonna show it to you guys. So they have this new line, which I'm guessing they're calling Mouseware, but they have, what is it, four different colors? They have yellow, like that orange peach looking color, light blue and black. And each collection, or most of them have like a, uh, looks like a crew neck sweater, a hat, t-shirt, joggers, and a hoodie. I love that new, uh, that new like style of Mickey that they made. It's fun. <laughs> but anyways, the hoodie, the six sizes range from a small to a 3X. And the sweater is $69.99. The joggers, there's a plus look up there. There's an embroidered Mickey on there. This one is $59.99. And it looks like sizes range from an extra small to a 3X, the crew neck. So it's a cropped crew neck sweater. This one's $59.99. And then, yep, sizes range from an extra small. It's not here, but extra small to a 3X as well. The hat is $29.99. And the t-shirt is $36.99. And like I mentioned, they have different colors. They have, they have it in black. It's cool because like in the black collection, they actually have a backpack. I'm not sure if they have it for any other color because as of right now, I only see it in the black section, or in the black color section <laughs> for the, the merchandise. This one's $49.99. And then looks like they have a crossbody bag. This one's $29.99. And then they also have a beanie. Again, I've only seen the beanie in the black color. I'm not sure how much that costs. They have the hat, which I already showed you guys. And then, I was actually wrong about the colors. There's five colors. There's yellow, like that orange peach color, light blue, purple, and black. And then here's how the merch looks in purple. It's the same stuff over and over again, just different colors. So that's why I'm kind of going through it kind of quickly. Oh, they also have it in white. <laughs> Sorry, I keep going off the, the wall, but I guess when I keep looking around these different colors, I guess white is the sixth color, but they only have this crop t-shirt. And then they also have everything in light blue. And lastly, they have it in that like orange peach color. Timothy was actually noticing something. What'd you notice about this This one, this color this in particular? This one is the only one that has actually Disneyland uh, right here on the t-shirt. And I believe on this the is hoodie, Disneyland it's Resort. Embroidered. So if you look at the hoodie, this one is embroidered actually, which is actually Oh, really that's cool. Nice. It's a little too bright for me, but I do like how it says Disneyland Resort. I wish yeah. it didn't like on the black one because the black one's actually pretty cool. The black one, literally, this is all. This is all I wear. Like, <laughs> come on. I think if they would have put it on the black one, I think they, they, they made right. Timothy wear for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Timothy. Oh, what's your Instagram? Oh, Timothy dot af. If you guys want to know, check him out. This guy is like famous for this Ernesto what are you video. About? Paul, is, Paul is the famous <laughs> one. <laughs> nah, nah, not even. Check him out. Make sure you guys check them out. Thank you. But anyways, besides that Mickey Mouse merch, there's also a new lounge fly bag. There's actually, there's actually, I think, three of them that I have to show you guys. So they have this all black one, which I think it was last week. I showed you guys the wallet at Disney Colliers. And they finally have the lounge fly bag, which I think is pretty nice. It's just all black, completely murdered out. <laughs> this one's $75. And let me go and show you guys the inside. 
So the lining inside is very simple. It's black with gray Mickeys. And the second launch fly bag I have to show you guys is actually Christmas themed. They finally released the Christmas launch fly bag. It's got this giant peppermint, <laughs> peppermint Mickey on the front. It's got the gingerbread on the zipper, which is pretty cool. And then on the bag itself with candy canes, more peppermints. It's kind of nice. Oh, look. The straps are like candy canes. <laughs> this bag is $85. I'm gonna take a guess and say that the inside has peppermints in it too. I knew it. <laughs> Mickey shaped peppermints. And the last launch bag I have to show you guys is actually part of a collection. It's part of the uh, Mickey Mouse main attraction collection. They have everything here except for the key. So this is the Big Thunder Mountain collection. Here's a look at the launch fly bag. I don't know. Not a not a big fan of the bag. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's not my taste. But if it's yours, you can get it for $85. And see what the inside looks like. Yeah, not a fan of the inside either. <laughs> and then here's a look at the ears, which I'm sorry to say this. I'm not a fan of these either. I'm not a fan. These are $34.99. I feel like the ears are just a little, little flimsy. See, look, these are already bent back. Not, not the biggest fan of these. And then lastly, because they don't have the key, they have the plush. The plush is kind of cool. This one's $34.99. And I guess the last thing I want to show you guys before we leave the Emporium is that uh, in case anybody's looking for any of the Starbucks tumblers or travel mugs, the Emporium has you covered. They have all three in stock. They've got the studded tumbler and the two travel mugs. I almost missed this. They also have that. It's an ornament but it looks like a shot glass. I'm gonna call it a shot glass. All right guys, that's basically everything I was able to find at the Emporium. I think now we're gonna walk around the rest of Main Street and see what else we can find. So they're coming to Disney clothes ears and check out these new Bambi inspired ears. This is kind of cool. The ears are not flimsy at all. They're pretty sturdy actually. Uh, I don't see a price on there, but I'm gonna guess and say that they're $34.99. Nothing on the sides. You know what you guys think. I think they're pretty cool. So Sally is not a whole lot new inside of uh, Disney clothes ears, but there is one more thing I have to show you guys, and it's pretty cool actually. Check out this lounge fly bag. How cool is that? This is beautiful. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. This is nice. This one is. Let's see how much it is. It's eighty-five dollars. Look at that. Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse. I cannot wait to see what the lining looks like. Wow, even the inside is cool. Look at that. That's, this is a nice bag. And then over here in the China closet, check this out. They have a new Mickey soap dispenser. It's part of that Joy Holiday Christmas collection. Uh, sadly, it doesn't sell how much it is, but if I had to take a guess, I'd say it's like $19.99. And then they also have a wreath. And here's the wreath, look. It's a Monsters Inc. wreath. <laughs> that is too cool. I like how vibrant the colors are. This one's $49.99 in case you're interested. And so far the only place I've seen this is here at the China Closet. So after we finished with Disney Clothiers and the China Closet, we ended up coming to Candy Palace and I found the schedule for the candy canes. <laughs> so it says Handmade Candy Canes 2022 schedule. So at Candy Palace, they're going to have them from uh, in December from the 4th. 6, 11, 13, 18, 20, and 24. And then Charlie Treats will have them on December 5th, 7, 12, 14, 19, 21, and 25. So I'll put that on the screen. You guys can screenshot it. You guys don't forget when you guys can get and where you guys can get the candy canes for sure. All right, guys, we just got inside of the Star Trader and check out this pretty cool wreath. That is awesome. It's got R2, it's got Candy Cane, C3PO, Darth Vader, some Ewoks, Stormtrooper, a gift. Uh, this one is $49.99. So here's something I've never seen before. They have a gauntlet from the Bad Batch. It's kind of cool. This one is $29.99. 
I'm not really sure if you guys remember my video from last week when I showed you guys all of the uh, Life Day merchandise, but I showed you guys the flocked Funko Pop of Chewbacca. In case they ever run out in Galaxy's Edge, they actually have it here at the Star Trader as well. Just in case you're looking for it and Galaxy's Edge is out. All right guys, but anyways, that was basically everything new I was able to find in the Star Trader as well as the rest of the park. I think I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.